Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, as you can see from the title down below, I'm going to be doing a full face of Technic makeup. Now, Technic is a brand that I haven't really heard a great deal about in like recent years, but they are releasing new products left, right and centre. Like, they are on it. There's so many new products that have come out like since the start of the year, in the last couple of weeks, and I've got a lot of them here. Now, I did purchase all of these things myself. I've got this box of goodies from Technic. So, let's just dive on in. I haven't even opened this box, so let me get my scissors and we will get into all of this fragile tape. I'm not sure what's fragile about it, but let's see. <laughs> Okay, so everything has come packaged in bubble wrap. This feels, it feels really old fashioned, like getting products that are actually wrapped in plastic bubble wrap. I can't remember the last time I ordered makeup and it was in this, like generally it always comes in that like corrugated paper that's like stretchable, the like recyclable um, bubble wrap, for, like eco-friendly bubble wrap. It's been forever since I had products turn up in actual plastic bubble wrap. I don't know why that's just made me like giggle so much. Anyway, it's going to take me a while to get into all of these products. Please hold. Okay, so I'm just going to dive straight on in with the first products that I've got here, which is the Cloud Whip Primer. It says that this has shea butter and vitamin E. I love that it's got the pump on the top. I do prefer it when like any sort of base products really but especially like primers foundations that sort of thing i love it when they've got a pump so what claims does this have create a cloudy soft complexion with our whipped primer infused with shea butter and vitamin e to create a soft hydrated complexion i love the sound of that so it says to apply a thin layer onto the skin and leave for 30 seconds before applying foundation i can do that let's see what the texture is like oh so it is <laughs> solid <laughs> and also like white it's like jiggly i love the look of that <laughs> so that's had about 30 seconds to sink in and i do feel like it has like sunk in really nicely and like my skin feels really nice and hydrated it doesn't feel too sticky the tiniest little bit but like not really all that much but that's how i like my primers to feel I'm really really happy with that and then the foundation loosely speaking that I got is this one and this is a new one and I've seen a lot on their Instagram on the Technic Instagram about this and I'm interested it is the pro tint sheer skin tint and this is in the shade <sighs> wouldn't it be useful if it said i know that it was the second shade it doesn't say what it was though so that's good but it's like a dual phase it says that you really have to shake it up so i'm gonna do that <laughs> they did however only have about five shades of this now if that is because it's such a sheer amount of coverage which that's sort of what i'm hoping for then five still isn't great but like it's understandable if this has any level of coverage and they've only got five shades that's where i've got a problem so let's just i don't know how much i have to shake this up <laughs> so i'm just gonna keep on going i'm just going to like dot this directly onto my skin and i don't know how much i'm going to need like i said i know it's going to be a sheer tint like that literally says it in the name but I don't know how much I'm going to need and now that I've got this on my face I'm just going to use a sponge <laughs> because I don't know what tool to really use with this but let's see how this goes. Okay I feel like the sponge was not the right choice there because I'm seeing nothing <laughs> and I know it's a tint I know it is but I'm seeing literally nothing like I think my sponge has soaked up most if not all of that so let me just find a brush i'm going to just take a sort of flat topped brush and what i will do is i will actually put this onto the back of my hand and then pick it up with the brush off the back of my hand because i feel then i'll be able to 
sort of control it a little bit better. I do feel like obviously it is a sheer amount of colour, like a sheer tint, but I feel like this colour is okay for me. The first shade was basically just white, like a straight up white, um, and I thought that, you know, hopefully if it is a sort of very sheer amount of coverage, even if it was a little bit too dark for me, then it would maybe just give me a little bit of a glow, like a little bit of a tan. So this is the side where I just did it with the sponge and then this is the side with a little bit more product with the brush. And I do feel like that looks really nice. It is a light amount of coverage, like it is still basically nothing, but it is sort of knocking back the redness in my skin a tiny little bit. It's doing a little bit of something, but it is very, very sheer. Okay, so now that that's had a little bit of time to sort of sink in, I feel like on most of my face, I definitely got too much on the back of my hand there. I'm just going to wipe that off. Um, on most of my face, that looks really, really nice. Really nice and sort of dewy. The cat's come to visit. Hello! Yeah, it looks really, really nice and sort of dewy and hydrated but not too heavy like it's not a very large amount of coverage it is a very very light coverage sort of sheer to light I would say however I have got a lot of dryness around my nose at the minute it has been absolutely freezing cold and my nose and like my skin around like my nose and my mouth has been suffering so incredibly much and it is grabbing a little bit however i am very aware oh goodbye i am very aware that like it's a problem area for me and that's something that i need to be working on in my skincare routine and i just haven't been or i just haven't had the chance to <laughs> because it's like ongoing um but on the rest of my face i feel like that looks really really nice so once my skin stops peeling off my face it will probably be a really really nice one and I do feel like that colour is fairly decent you can still see where I've got a few spots you can still see my freckles but it has just knocked back the redness a tiny little bit I really like how that looks and um, I don't really know about like the dual phaseness of it obviously I don't know anything about the products and um, because I just bought them without ever even looking them up but I like how it looks I am a big fan of that apart from the bit around my nose but I'm not judging it too harshly the concealer that I got is the look awake matte concealer and it says this contains caffeine and honestly technique same <laughs> like get me a coffee immediately um, and I again couldn't tell you what shade this is oh vanilla macaron says up here on the lid and i got this one because i really liked the shape of the little applicator i thought that that was really interesting like the pointy with the little dip in it if this is a lot of coverage we are in trouble <laughs> let's hope it's not <laughs> i'm going to just tap this in with a concealer brush okay no we're okay that color is fine <laughs> oh that would have been a disaster wouldn't it oh that's quite nice okay so from a distance that concealer looks really really nice but close up that is quite dry now it does say that it's matte concealer so that was on me but i think that maybe it's one that i would prefer when it's not so freezing cold like my skin really doesn't enjoy the cold so i think that is probably one honestly these motorbikes that go past my house are insane um i think probably in the summer when my skin is in a little bit of a better place i will probably prefer that concealer it's just looking a little bit heavy around my eyes and i'm not the biggest fan of that the color's great though <laughs> i was a little bit worried about the color but it's blended out it's a nice enough amount of coverage you'll probably like that if you are more like normal to oily skin you'll probably prefer that and i guess that's probably who it's 
sort of made for with it being a matte concealer so next up i actually spoke to someone that i follow on instagram and i was like what do you recommend from technic and she told me about this one which is the hydra set and blur water-based loose powder water-based powder i don't like my brain can't compute those two things together but let's just try it i will use it with a little triangle powder puff i guess and let's just see i don't feel like i need too much powdering but we'll do a little bit to try this out oh it's very very um finely milled if i hold that up you might be able to see it's very very fine i like the look of that okay so i'm just tapping a little bit off on the back of my hand so that i don't get too much on my face all at once oh wow that does look really nice and blurring okay and that does feel cold that's really weird it feels wet but it's not it's a powder my brain i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> I'm really not sure what I feel about that powder. It looks really nice. Like it's definitely set the um, like glowiness of the foundation, but it doesn't look dry, but it feels wet and cold. Not now, but like as I was applying it, but that looks really, really nice. Even close up, that looks really, really nice. Really blurring. I am a big fan and if you haven't seen any of my videos before I am the biggest critic of loose powders or any sort of setting powders because I have such dry skin and I'm just really picky and that is on first impressions a really really nice one I like it so next up I desperately need to add some colour back into my skin and I got this one and now that I'm looking at it I'm like that colour looks cool rather than something more like a bronzer but we'll just we'll just go with it this is the ready set sculpt contouring palette so you get a contour shade a highlight shade and then this one that's really shimmery and it says on the back to put it like on like the middle of your cheeks and i'm like i am not going to do that thank you very much but i will use this one which has the number one on it to try and add a little bit of shape back into my face so let's see how pigmented this is what the color is like very very light hand oh it's very pigmented okay okay so you saw how little i just dipped into that like you saw that in real time and that has basically done my whole face like i'm gonna go and do a little bit on my nose but that was enough those like few little dips was enough to do both cheeks and up and around my whole forehead so it's very very pigmented you need a very very light hand and i would recommend quite a fluffy brush this is the one that i always use which is the real techniques blush brush and i just love this for blush and bronzer i just find that it's the perfect shape to like really blend something out that is quite pigmented um i like the color the color is actually okay uh yeah i was worried about that but the color is okay i'm just going to put a little bit down my nose sort of pinching the brush together and sort of diffusing it quite a bit yeah i actually like that a lot more than i thought i would i feel like that's added a really nice amount of color like it's not too much it's it's matte it is matte but it's not like taking away from that lovely glow that we had going on so i will probably come back to this and use this on my eyes in a little minute but the next product as always i'm really excited about trying the blush this is the glowy blush stick and this is in the shade pink diamond it looks beautiful so that is what the color looks like and i think what i'm going to do is take it off the brush like this rather than applying that directly onto my face 
this looks like a beautiful and like i've seen this on their instagram as well beautiful bright pink okay i think i might have gotten too much on my brush there but it almost has like a goldeny sort of reflect to it this looks beautiful oh it's so pigmented i definitely got too much on my brush there okay <laughs> i absolutely love that blush that was really really pigmented like i barely needed anything this stick is gonna last me forever but it blended out really really nicely i am just gonna put a little bit on my nose because it's me um really really beautiful and it's added a glow anything that will add a glow this came in three different shades as well am i tempted by the other ones yes i am that is a really really beautiful color and it doesn't feel like sticky or anything on my skin definitely gone overboard on the old schnoz i really really like that i feel like my skin apart from this little bit around my nose which we're ignoring um i feel like my skin looks really really nice i'm having a good makeup day and i'm thrilled <laughs> so i also got a highlight i mean i don't think i need it but i'm gonna try it anyway <laughs> this is the highlight wand they did also do blushes in this sort of packaging um and i do believe that this only came in one shade again because it doesn't actually say a shade on it i don't believe but let's just see so it's got the sort of little applicator that we all know and i'm just going to not put it in my hair i'm just going to put a few little dots on the tops of my cheeks and i will use my blush brush just to tap this in that looks really really nice and it's blended in with that blush really nicely as well mm, i love the skin i love it um but yeah i do feel like it's looking perhaps a little bit glowy a little bit further in as i was complaining about the concealer being too matte will you ever win no i am picky so i'm going to quickly go off and do my brows i got the ultra fine micro brow pencil and i got this in the shade dark brown oh that is a teeny teeny tiny little pencil so let's see what i can do with these brows <laughs> okay i really really like that pencil the color is a touch warmer than what i'm used to but i feel like i could di dial that down like dial down the warmness a little bit with a slightly cooler brow gel now i don't have a technic one i'm just gonna use my elf wow brow but i really really like that brow pencil it is teeny tiny you can get really really little hair like strokes um but it was almost like a bit creamier than ones that i'm used to where sometimes they can be quite firm i feel like that one was really nice and creamy so it was like quite a quick process of coloring in my brows which sometimes can take me a little bit of time <laughs> um, but i really really like how that looks i think they look fluffy i think they look full so i am quickly just going to take a big fluffy brush and go it back into that contour palette and i'm just going to run a little bit of the same contour color just through my crease because i've got an eyeliner but like no eyeshadow or anything for the eyes so i just want a little bit of this to add a little bit of depth and definition back into my eyes but just a little bit don't want to go overboard as i always do so the eye liner that i've got i'm so excited about it's blue i didn't match my nails because i knew i was going to be filming this but it does match this is the euphoria metallic liquid liner and does this have a name on it blue how creative okay so it feels really like liquidy 
can you hear that like it's got a ball inside of it and it's like shaking up the product and okay okay look at that color i'm in love i'm obsessed i'm in love i'm obsessed how beautiful oh my goodness it's almost it's almost like a teal it's a brush tip could this product be any more me get this on my eyeballs immediately okay when i tell you that you need this liquid liner that was the easiest most beautiful metallic blue liquid liner that i have ever used oh my goodness i need every single shade before this video goes up i'm going to go onto the technic website and buy every single shade of these i don't know what other colors they come in but this one is this one is millie this is my shade this i absolutely love it that was so easy so i love a brush tip anyway so i'm biased but this is so easy to use you put the cap back on you shake it a few times and more product comes down the bottom of the little brush tip so it's never going to dry out as you're using it i was able to this this isn't a given i was able to do both eyes not always the case with a liquid liner it's blue it's metallic it's softly reflective it's not glittery but it has that reflect to it i i am going to live in this liquid liner for the rest of my life i love it i have been sleeping on technic liquid liners i am obsessed so i almost don't want to put mascara on because i'm like I do not want to cover up this liquid liner. Can you tell I am obsessed? <laughs> I know people throw that word around. They're like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I am speechless. I am obsessed. So the mascara that I chose was the Lash Drama Volumizing Mascara. Honestly, I got this because I thought that the packaging looked cute and a lot of the... <laughs> A lot of the mascaras that they had on their website were like lengthening and wispy and all of this and I'm like that's just not me I want drama I want volume so I got this one let's see what the wand looks like I was not expecting the wand to look like that that is the biggest wand but also the bristles are minute let's hope for the best <laughs> okay so I'm not the biggest fan of that mascara it's fine it just looks quite natural like it's this is three coats of mascara on my top lashes and i can really not see them all that much but i can still see that beautiful blue liner so swing some roundabouts it's not my favorite mascara but you can still see the liquid liner so i'm thrilled about that um then for the lips i am just going to I've had really dry lips. I've mentioned it a million times. So I did have a lip oil on already. Honestly, I completely forgot what products I had purchased. I've ordered a lip oil. So <laughs> I'm going to just wipe the previous lip oil off and then I can go in with the lip liner first. So this is the Technic Nude Edit Lip Liner and this is in the shade Bear. And that is what that one looks like. So it is like a wooden sharpenable pencil. That color looks great. So let's just see sort of how creamy this is and everything. Okay, so it's not the creamiest that I've ever used. The color's nice enough. And um, I just feel like, you know, lip liners, you can get two pound lip liners now that are great. It's not my favorite. It's fine. If you're doing a Technic haul and you're wanting a lip liner from them, it's fine. It's not bad. It's just not, it's not the Elf Cream Glide lip liners. Um, and then lastly, I've got the Sheer Tint Lip Oil. And I do believe that this just came in one shade. I love me a lip oil. So very excited. Ooh, that smells incredible. 
Mmm, that smells like sweeties. So it's slightly thinner, slightly waterier than like the e.l.f. one again or the W7 one. So that is everything. Yeah, that's everything. I think I'm just going to put a little bit more of that contour bronzer on. Okay, so from start to finish, the primer is fine. I feel like with primers, you can't really see anything. It's sort of how everything goes over the top. And because I don't really think a great deal of the foundation, I will report back on the primer. I will try it tomorrow. I'll try it at some point with some of my other favourite base products to see how it works under a product that I already know and love. The concealer, I feel like was a little bit heavy looking, but I will try again. I will try and use a little bit less. Um, I maybe just put a little bit too much on and maybe it would be better blending out with a sponge. Again, sometimes it takes a little bit of trial and error. I liked this powder. I think that that powder is really, really nice. Obviously, I don't know how much I'm going to use the other two, but that bronzing one, uh, contour one, whatever, is really, really nice. Very, very pigmented, though. You only need a really, really small amount. The blush was a big win. I really, really like that blush stick. I feel like it's given a really nice amount of colour and a really nice amount of glow. I really, really like that. And again, that came in a couple of different shades, so I will be checking those out. The highlight, I feel like, again, that was blinding i didn't necessarily need it on this base that i had going on but i really really like that one and i also like that it's slightly less product because like the elf one i'm never gonna finish that but this one i maybe would um and i wonder how that would look on the eyes i'll give it a go um then what did i try the brow pencil was a little bit too warm for me but absolutely usable we'll finish that up this liquid eyeliner i don't need to say anymore it is absolutely the win of the video i absolutely love that the mascara didn't really do a great deal for me it's fine it's not a bad mascara it's just also not the best mascara and i feel like where have i put it i think that this was about five pounds so i'm like for six pounds you could get the elf lash and roll and it's superior to this one so i just feel like there are better ones on the market the lip liner again i feel like you could get the elf one you could also get the relove super fill for probably a little bit less money and i prefer them and the lip oil feels absolutely fine it's probably the sort of product that i would just put on before bed to like hydrate the lips um and yeah a lip oil is a lip oil a lot of lip oils all feel the same this one sort of feels a little bit thinner which some people might prefer some people might prefer a thicker one they each have a place in my makeup collection basically so that is my final thoughts on all of the technique mix that i got today let me know down below are there any products that you think i need to try from Technic, are there any things that I am missing out on? Are there any more liquid eyeliners that the world needs to know about because they are beautiful? Because I'm going to be doing a Technic order. I'm going to be getting some more bits because I need all of these in every single shade. <laughs> I think that that looks incredible. So let me know if there are any other products. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe down below. I post three times a week on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. It is always affordable and it's always cruelty free. But until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. Bye.